Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 18 of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I was thinking, you know, why not just do all the levels, get the gems, and then go for the time trials? Because I feel like if you're going to be dealing with crap, you might as well get over, get it over with as soon as possible. So that's why we're doing the boxes, for, well, do the gems, then the relics. That way we can, like, feel a little bit better when we take on the final boss again for the good ending. Luckily, I still have an Aku Aku with me, so Coco will have a little bit of an advantage. We'll see how long that advantage even lasts. Well, according to the game, like, four or five seconds. Like, I was just not aware that was a pit at the time. Lighting just felt a bit weird to me. Okay, I tap jump right there, and the game wouldn't jump. Like, I must have been that close to the edge. So I had an advantage, and I blew it. What else is new? Huh. Alright, we're gonna do this. Weave him over to the right, and then left, or vice versa. It's up to you. Doesn't necessarily have to be one side. It could be the other way if you wanted it to. Alright. No messing around here. It's for keeps, man. Okay, I'm gonna miss like three seconds there. That sucks. But I'm not so not going back for that. Got lots there! That went really well. Wow! Uh. Oh, that was way too close. Not gonna lie about that one. Oh! That jump sucks! Because you gotta be so precise. I hate, like, precise jumps where, like, if you fail, it's death. That's severe consequences, man. Up the ass. Or what's left of your ass. No, I'll let Gandalf live. He's in good movies. How did that hit me? It wasn't even out. Was I literally that close to the wall? Well, the game must be saying yes. So unfortunately, I have to accept that outcome. Can't the Firefly just count as a hit for me? That would be so nice. I'm probably broken. Okay, that was my fault there. I don't even know why I went for that box. That's just me being dumb. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of a rhythm here. I like to keep it that way. It's a rhythm that keeps me alive is a good rhythm. Yeah, that's better. That's how you keep an Aku Aku. That'd be one way to lose one. I shouldn't have hesitated. I probably could have made that. There, now I got all the time stoppage I could get from here. That's it. Okay, cool. Oh, I forgot that was the pit! The floor and the pits, they're so identical in color. Like, how can you easily tell? I would imagine some colorblind people got it real bad. Like, really bad. Everything just blends. Okay, no time for excuses. Let's just go. I say we're gonna do it. I like to believe we will. <laughs> I don't want to believe that we're not. Because, you know, that's just negative thinking. I'm not a negative thinker. Maybe I'm a real thinker. That could be the problem. Okay, this 
this could be the bullshit part right here. Unless you do that. That helps. What really helps is, you know, not dying. Well, that does not go in my favor for that cause. That does. That doesn't. I definitely wouldn't if I did that. Like, go into that way. Just go, man. This is real good. 4403. That was real solid. Like, what was the main time for that? Like, a minute 40? No, it wasn't a minute 40. It was probably like a minute 10, minute 20. That was way too good. Yep, that was a solid platinum right there. Awesome. Now let's do Ghost Town, which is probably not going to be awesome. I looked this level up. It's going to be a pain in the ass if you don't have good reaction time. Because there's two gems you got to get. It's a race. You get one for winning the race. And one for getting all the boxes, of course. Like, seriously. Like, how are you supposed to know where most of these boxes are? I've already missed some of them. It's so annoying that you have to deal with that kind of crap. And you gotta switch courses too to make sure you got everything. Okay, second lap. That went really well. And you gotta get all the boxes on each go. That way you can go through like each track differently. Like right there. The easiest way to avoid the nitro is just not to turn in. That definitely helps matters, all things considered. At least you get one box for, like, getting first place. See, because I turn so slow, you practically have to be instantaneous. And I'm not good with instantaneous speeds. Okay, I can hardly see, like, Crunch is, like, directly right on my grill. Like, I can't even s see most- Okay! That was crap. Like, it's utter memorization. That's what this level mainly is. Screw it, let's just do the time trials first. Okay, I say, just do that first, so you can, like, get it, and then move on. Oh, I thought I could turn right! This level sucks, you have to memorize everything! Also, I don't even know if there's a button that can make you go faster on this. Like, I'm holding A, that doesn't help, holding B does not help. Maybe it's R? You know, like dash? I doubt it, but... I've been wrong before. Okay, for some reason, he's ahead of me. You can't explain that. If he stays ahead of me the whole time, I'm gonna be pissed. Look, he's still ahead of me! Like, I don't understand how you can just be faster than him. Because we take the same course. Like, seriously, we do. So I'm not going to win. Also, why is Crunch still evil towards me anyway? We beat him before many times. Yeah, 
Yeah, I lost. Yeah, restart the trial. Okay. I gotta think about how the hell you actually do this. Oh, I missed the time trial! Damn it! Like, you know it's dank as hell when... When you're missing that. Okay, let's try it again. No, you're not catching up to me, Crunch. I guess that when you're turning on these uh, courses, you just go a little bit slower. Come on, Crunch. Hit those Nitro. Nitro is good for you. Hit him. How dare you. Seriously. How the hell do you win this so reliably? You probably can't. Unless you just memorized everything. Ugh! This level sucks. It does. Anybody that tells you otherwise is only kidding themselves. Alright, let's try this course first. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, let's try something else. Maybe I hold A and B. Like, this is just the same kind of superstition when it comes to, like, catching Pokemon. Probably doesn't work. But damn it, you'll try it anyway. Okay, I missed way too many boxes there. And they're all on every single path. So you had to, like, get them all on the first try. And that's an unreliable way to do things. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna get all the boxes here either. So I'm only doing this just to beat Crunch. It's clinically impossible for me to get all the boxes now. When you're screwed this early, no, 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 no. I'll take the same course as you, so you can't get past me. That's just how it's gonna be. Okay, you're not beating me this time. It's a bit of a Pyrrhic victory, but I'll take it. No, no. I'll get at least one gem out of it. Would have liked to have gotten the second one, but man, that's gonna take a lot of work. So, let's do this again. Oh, this is gonna be like the bane of my nightmares. Well, this will be my nightmares. I can't say the bane of my nightmares. The bane of my nightmares is when I beat it. No, not that kind of beat it. You, you know what I mean. As I hope you do. Oh, don't go into that. Oh, that was way too close. <laughs> that could have ended disastrous for us. Let's try this route. Uh, we'll be fine. We will be okay. We just have to believe in ourselves. Okay, I think I should have taken the right path. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I don't think it's impossible yet. At least it better not be.
Oh, no, 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 no. Don't even think about it. Guys, I might actually do this. Oh, I got the box. I got all the boxes. Yes. It worked. I got the second gem here. So now we have to do this stage a third time to do the time trials. God almighty. At least I got my game for this level down. Minute 938. Way too specific, but there's a lot of boxes there. Okay, deep breaths. I still don't know why I hold A and B at the same time. It seems like an effort in futility. But maybe it's just superstition kicking in. Jeez, you get a ton of time doing this. It's almost way too easy. Like right now, we're passing the first lap, and I've got like two seconds. Seriously? That's how good it can get. If you got your path down path. Oh, no pun intended. Path down path? Really? That's a weird way of English. Like, the trick is to not hold left or right all the way. When you're, like, uh, making those passes to, uh, get boxes. Because, you know, there could be nitro in them. That way you get back in the middle real quickly. I'll go this way. It's dangerous, but... It's something. No, 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 don't even think about it. You are not passing me, Crunch. Don't even try it. I did not detonate the nitro, really? Okay, whatever. It's not like I needed to. 2870. Yeah, baby! How do you like them apples? In hindsight, when I was looking at that loading screen, I should've said, How about them Wumpas? That would've been funnier. Ice Station Bandicoot. This one's another race, but it's not that bad. Not that great either, but it's tolerable. You're on the Jet Pack, which I don't like, or Hover Pack, or Hella Pack. So, have fun. And you also gotta go through rings. Oops, I, I missed one box there. And you can't die. So I'll just settle for getting first place. You do have to go through like all the rings for it to count. Some of the boxes are in precarious positions. Like, I was so close to it and I still didn't hit it. You can hit the balloons, too, apparently. Okay, I hit the box. Okay, well, maybe I'll just die. That way I'll have another chance to kill two birds with one stone. Oh, I forgot you actually had to spin into the boxes. Duh. Weirdly enough, you can't hit the uh, polar bear on a magic carpet, because, you know, that's a thing. Because if you could, that would have been making things a hell of a lot easier. So pay attention to the balloons and the boxes. Just remember, the rings are actually... Oh, that was the same box that got me before. It's so close to, like, your flight path, so of course you're likely to hit it. Like, even if you try to hit the polar bear, you still get sent back. Apparently attacking it doesn't work. Oh, I missed a box! Shit! Polar bear does have ways to piss you off. So... I want to get, like, both gems at the same time, so I'm willing to forego my 96 lives <laughs> to make that happen. Oh, 
I notice I got a bit of desync too, but I'll, I'll fix that later. I'm too busy focusing on being a badass and a jetpack. Let's do this. Please don't screw it up now. So remember there was Nitro over here. That box is a bit tricky to get too. Because it's all the way up there. Oh, ooh, that was close. Okay, it looks like we're winding down to the end of this path here. We got this. We got this. We got this. Luckily, you can hit the balloons on Nitro and it's fine. That won't kill you. Detonator! Good. Okay, that's all the boxes. And that's Gem for finishing the race. Alright, I'm back. Everything should be all fixed up. I decided to do that, you know, while the loading screen was going on. So apparently the time trial time for Ice Station Bandicoot is only at 1.10.65. I can probably go without hitting a single box and still come close to that. But just for safety's sake, I will just hit all the boxes I can, provided they are not Nitro. Let's not make a fool of ourselves here. Of course, you still have to win the race as normal. So I will be doing just that. This reminds me of Rings of Power from Warped, to some extent. Oh, not gonna get that box, apparently. That's okay, I don't need it. I find that a lot of them are just for time stoppage. Maybe a little bit too much. Like, even the one that was Nitro just turned into, like, a time stoppage. Seems a bit too easy. Why would they give you so much? Some people say, like, if you avoided half of them on purpose, you can still get a very good time. Like, even up to Platinum, provided you went through the ring smoothly. But weirdly enough, they give you so much leeway with this. Like, that was just way too much leeway right there, but three seconds. And another three seconds right there, I mean, seriously? And look, we're done. 43.20, or 44.03, technically. That was smooth as hell. I don't know if that was exactly platinum time, but, oh man, that was pretty damn good. I think that's all the excitement I can handle for this episode, all things considered. So, hopefully, like, either the next episode, or the one after that will be the finale. Then we can move on to other things. I mean, we've got two levels left. This one is an Atlasphere level, which I'm not going to like. So, we'll take care of that in the next part. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.